Hurt the laws of the United States. Looks like your plane's pretty fully. Eh? Don't want to overload it. Puh! Typical Canadian wimpiness. That's why you have snowballs and we have the H-bomb. We really appreciate your help, Johnny. Is there any way we can repay you? Well, I've always wanted to see a man with the IQ of a child executed by the state. We don't get that up here. Really? In America, we do it four times a week. You come on down and I'll get us front row seats. I'd like that. We're losing altitude. Time to dump all unnecessary weight. What? Don't dump me out. I can lose weight. Just give me a chance. One, two. I'd rather die. It's no use. We've got to make an emergency landing. Well, at least we're all in this together. Now, we have three parachutes. This one's for me, and these two are gifts for my nephews. Tell who. Homer, are you sure you can fly this thing? We'll make it, Dad, on a wing and a prayer. Damn it! <laughs> All right, you're under arrest. On what charge? Making a police chief go... <laughs> Get in the car, and don't touch those guns. I just loaded them. You'll have to arrest me, too. Abe Simpson brought the Propecia to keep grass on Willie's field. You cured my lumbago. Thank you. My diaper rash. My glavenoids are not so hurtful. Thanks to his lactose intolerance pills, I can drink this crusty brand milkshake. <laughs> Terrible. Well, Simpson, you have helped a lot of people. So, like it says in the Springfield Police Handbook, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Uh, Chief, you know, I've been checking the handbook. A lot of the things you say aren't in there at all. Yeah, well, look a little closer, Lou. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not too late. Take potion. Hurry. No, oh, it's not working. Only my sour, curdled breath will quicken him. Ah, sir, you saved my life. Yes. Smithers, I was a stingy old fool. But from now on, I'll provide drug benefits to all my full-time employees. Great news, honey. Mr. Burns made me a freelance consultant. Hey, what's this lump? <laughs>